Hey guys, it's Teal Ball Gloves here. I'm coming at you with the glove collection video. I have 10 gloves in my collection. We're gonna go oldest to newest. So this is my HR13 game model glove. It's hard to see because it's black, but it's an HR13 12 and uh, three quarters. Very deep pocket, all stays in. Blue with red laces with a red pocket and uh, super skin. Very light glove. It looks pretty new because I played outfield for maybe half a season and went back to infield. So that's that glove. Here we have my 44 Pro crown tip. This is a really old 44. This is, um, I think, 2015, 2014 when I ordered this. It's, uh, doesn't, it's hard to see because it's black and the finger is curled up. That's how it came. But it's a... Uh, snake skin if you can see the snake it says since 2011 all their old gloves have that since 2011 11 and a half signature series it's indented the 44 like the whole four not the outline like the new ones um, ball in the pocket swallows the ball it's crown tip and snake skin with red accents blonde uh, wrist web it's a good glove. I was going to use this for second in pitching, but the pocket's really deep, as you can see. So I couldn't really use it at second, but I did use this in a few uh, games to pitch. Here's my other 44. This 44 is uh, 11 and 3 quarters. It is a just 44 Pro Signature Series with the hinge web in the mesh. Their finger pads are really just leather. They're nothing like Rawlings where it's squishy. So it is just leather, um, but it is better than the feeling of mesh, but their mesh is very good. As you can see, you can't pinch it like Rawlings mesh. Um, I got the um, uh, logo stamped into the glove. So it's kind of hard to see. I have the cross, uh, red and black all throughout the glove. And I got that. Uh, third finger uh, stall left side red so yeah this is the ball in the pocket swallows the ball use this at third base and shortstop very good glove next we have my current gamer I want to retire it because it's starting to get uh, pretty old the ball pops out sometimes the pocket's very loose so I gotta get that tightened but uh, it's the DP15 game model, 11 and a half, Pro Stock Select. It says Dustin Pachoria game model, or uh, Pinky. This glove is a very good glove. I got this uh, because it's the only A2K in the store and I want to try it out. And for DP15s, that's about an inch of padding, which is pretty good for a DP15, because typically they come without padding. It has gun metal on the power stripe and the thumb. A gray web, tan accents, and black throughout the glove. This glove got cleated in the game, as you can see the cleat marks, causing the web and the logo to get scratched open and cleat marks throughout, which kind of sucks but it still works. This is the pocket. It has this thing that the J, uh, J27 also has. This little piece of leather makes the pocket stronger and fingers wider and the palm a lot flatter, which I like. My next glove is my other 44. I have two other 44s. This one, is the JP11, the Japan Palm 11. It's 11 and a half signature series. It's one of their newer models with their diamond web, which is basically an eye web, but just more closed. You can use it on the mound. It's blonde, black, and blue. Palm is very flat because it's a JP11, so it's a pocket. On the pocket. Doesn't swallow the ball, very shallow pocket because due to the model. So, yeah. Next glove is my Dan Heron Heart of the Hide. 
It is a 1175-9P, 11 three quarters. This glove is, uh, I think, blonde laces with uh, sherry or oxblood leather. Because it's very oily. I haven't had to condition it. And that's a natural uh, palm stain. On the pocket, the finger stalls are very, very easy to uh, form. That's why it has a good flare on it. And they haven't broken because I could still move them. And they're stiff throughout. So, yeah. This is my other A2K. This is my A2K 1786, 11 and a half. This is their new colorway for the 2018 models. So last year's colorway, it is copper, blonde, and black. It is a very nice glove. They're just craftsmanship errors throughout the glove sometimes. Stitching has been off. I find um, that the tops, this is barely used. The tops of the fingers came almost like this. Close the thumb to index. And there's blemishes throughout the leather. If you look very closely, it's pretty tough to see on camera. Right there, there's another blemish. It's still a very good glove. It just, I don't like how it closes thumb to index. That's how it came. So it's pretty hard to change it back or the way I want it, thumb to middle. On the pocket, uh, traditional. All my gloves are traditional, except my third base gloves. Doesn't swallow the ball, close thumb to index though. Yeah, here is my other 44. This is the crown tip model. This is when they started putting crown tip on their thumb. Handcrafted, 12 inch signature series. Has the gold foil uh, stamping. You can request it in the um, special requests box. 44 has great craftsmanship. Black web, it's blonde everywhere, even the uh, laces and purple accents you special request to get writing throughout the gloves like you can get it here you can get it on the pinky in the palm and the logo where the 44 is i got the uh, lace locks the lace locks are very good because you can make it as tight or as loose as you want and you can click the glove sounds pretty nice I, this glove is i got this roughly when the uh, kip liner came out so i got the kip liner it's a very good liner, it's pretty soft. It's just that because it's kip, it's harder to break in the glove. But their other liner is a lot softer. Their, their sheep, sheepskin uh, palm liner is a lot softer, but creases a lot more. So yeah, it's a good glove. Just in the pocket, follows it. Final two, at my Pro Preferred, Pro S200 204-9 RTB, 11 and a half, Pro 200 pattern. The RTB is rich tan and black with the gold foil stamping, Vegas gold uh, uh, embroidery, and gray quilting. This glove is very nice. This is my first Pro Preferred, it's a tank. This is as far as I got it in about a month. It's just a ball in the pocket. This is going to be my future gamer once this breaks in. It's going to replace this. E2K. Sorry for the interruption, but this is my last glove. It's a 44 Pro Signature Series. It's a finger hood. It's 12 inches. It's tan and navy blue. Navy match my team colors. Canada flag, gill lacing, again with the lace locks, and the K. Uh, reverse K on the thumb, but uh, thanks for watching. These are just a few of the gloves to close it out, but thanks for watching. Uh, see you later. Like, comment, subscribe.